how do you clean up your email list? Well, one way is to create an automation that just tells us who's not engaged, who's not actually opening up the darn things. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. I've actually started uh, creating lead magnets and stuff, finally marketing this newsletter a little bit. And so I want to make sure that the list stays clean. Uh, so I follow my boy, Matt McGarry. And if you're not following him, go ahead and do so. He writes this newsletter operator and he's got tons of actionable tips and tricks. I've followed a bunch. Here's the latest. How and when to clean your list. There's more in this article than I'm going to go over. I'm just going over this first automation, users without opens in X number of days. So he recommends between 60 and 90 days. If I've been sending something to someone for 60 to 90 days and they haven't opened anything, we're just going to manually unsubscribe them from the list. So I've already set it up in my main newsletter. I'm going to set it up uh, with you watching on my second newsletter here, Progress and Perfection. You want to go to go to audience segments. We're going to create a new segment. We'll call it unengaged. And importantly, we want this to be a dynamic segment. So it updates daily. We're going to define the conditions here and you can add all sorts of conditions and conditions, groups, etc. We're going to just select uh, engagement. And then right here we select what do we want? Unique sends is greater than 12. This could change. I'm just going to use 12 because I've written tons on this newsletter. It's a daily newsletter. For this one, I'm actually going to put 20. So I want to make sure that I've sent them plenty of things to give them a chance to open them. And then I want to make sure that their attribute of sign up date is before a relative date. So this is a dynamic list. So this date is going to change. We want it to update every day. We don't want just a static date here. And I'm going to say three months ago. So uh, because it's a daily newsletter, this is always going to take over this unique send and, and outrank it because I've sent way more. I've spent, I've sent 90 emails in 90 days. Uh, but next year it may change to a weekly cadence. So I'll leave it at 20 there. And then finally, we're going to do another engagement and we're going to say unique opens. And unique opens is less than or equal to zero. So they're not opening anything. If we click save, it's going to say processing. I'm just going to go ahead and click refresh and check it out. We got two people that we can go ahead and clean off of this list right now. No shame for any of them, but let's go ahead and click into each of these, unsubscribe them manually, and go back here and do the same for this person here. So now our list is a little bit cleaner than it was before. The reason that you're going to want to do this, nobody wants the subscribers to go down, but nobody wants their readership to not be reading anything either. So better to have a few active engaged subscribers than many unengaged worthless subscribers. It's going to affect your deliverability potentially down the road and uh, definitely your metrics if you ever want to monetize your newsletter with sponsors per se. They're going to want to see click-through rate, open rate, all that stuff. And uh, if you have unengaged readers, they're going to be bringing those numbers and those percentages down. So I hope that you learned something here. Thanks again to Matt and all his tips. I'll do more tutorials like this if you would like. I've got more automations and more segments and stuff like that that I've been creating very recently in my own newsletters and would love to share that with you because it's been very helpful for me to get a better handle on the data in my newsletter businesses. Hope you have a great one. Talk to you next time and goodbye.